Hey guys, so this is the first in a series of videos and blog posts on building a rich text editor in C Sharp. And I thought I'd start by just explaining why I'm doing this. So this is Cantabile. This is my music workstation app for live performing musicians. And what I need is in this show notes panel, uh, users of this program can put in notes that they might want to refer to while they're on stage. And it could be lyrics, it could be chord progressions, uh, drum patterns, etc. Anything that they want to refer to while they're performing. And currently this is a bit limited. It lets you put in blocks of text. There's a little bit of formatting on each block. But really what's needed here is the ability to just directly type into here and more control over the formatting. So this, this is the main reason I'm building this. It uh, needs to be a rich text editor for here. It needs to support uh, embeddable content as well. So I need to be able to embed other content types besides just text. So for example, images, um, Chord Pro blocks, perhaps PDF pages, etc. And it also needs to support all the normal things you would expect from a rich text editor like uh, undo, redo, clipboard support, etc. Okay, so that's, that's the primary reason I'm building this. The other reason is that I'm in the process of porting Cantabile to a new version of the UI toolkit that I built this app out of. So just quickly, this, this app is built with the UI toolkit called GUI Kit. Um, it was designed and implemented specifically for Cantabile. And primarily it's this composited view engine that's used on this main window. But it also has a forms engine, which is based on the standard Windows controls. Um, so these are the standard Windows text boxes, buttons, etc. I'm in the process of replacing all of these with custom controls that I've written using this composited view engine. And I'll just show you that quickly so you can see what I mean. So this is my test harness for GUI kit and you can see I've implemented various buttons, uh, list boxes, um, sliders, combo boxes, etc. All the controls I need. And I've, I've implemented all the controls I need for Contabulate except for the text field. So this, these fields here, single line plain text and also a multi line plain text control will also be based on uh, this same editor. So if you see me referring to single line mode and plain text mode, so that's, that's what I'm referring to there. Okay, so that, that's the requirement. Just to quickly cover uh, the toolkits that I'll be using, as mentioned, this is all built using GUI Kit, um, which is the custom library for Cantabile that I wrote. And internally, GUI Kit uses Skier Sharp for rendering. So Skier is Microsoft's wrapper around Skier, which is Google's graphics rendering engine that they use in Chrome, Chrome OS, and various other places. Um, so that, that's what we use for rendering. Skia provides good text rendering capabilities. However, the, the burden of anything complex is left to the client. So last year I wrote this library, uh, Rich Text Kit. This is an open source library that provides support for rich text formatting and layout. Um, so you can see here, for example, bold, italic, underline, the normal rich text type stuff. But it also does font fallback, which is where the font doesn't support a particular character set. It'll switch to another font. So for instance, here you can see it's switching to an emoji font to draw these emojis. It's also important for some international languages like Arabic, Japanese, Chinese, etc. Okay. Now, when I wrote Rich Text Kit, I was pretty sure I'd be using it to build a text editor at some point. So it already has some text editor related functions, hit testing, carrot positioning, and the ability to paint a selection range. So that's going to be super handy in this uh, project. Just uh, under the covers of Rich Text Kit is half buzz. So scaresharp.halfbuzz is .NET wrapper around the half buzz library. And this is a text shaping engine. So just to quickly explain that, text shaping is the process of taking a sequence of Unicode characters, mapping them onto glyphs in a font, and then positioning those glyphs accurately so that you get correctly 
uh, rendered text. It's quite a complex process. For most simple Latin languages, it's just a left to right layout, but a lot of other languages and writing systems have much more complicated layout. So Rich Text Kit relies heavily on half buzz for that layout. Um, that said, most mostly this is hidden under the covers in Rich Text Kit and we don't need to worry about it too much. Okay, so that's the plan. Um, the next video I'll start on actually building the text editor um, and we'll probably start by uh, implementing the caret and cursor functionality and then we'll take it from there. Um, let me know if you have any feedback on these videos. I've not really done coding videos before, so if you want me to go a bit faster, a bit slower, explain things in more detail, less detail, just let me know. The best place you can reach me is probably Twitter at Top 10 Software. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.